Welcome to the Crazy Happy Podcast. Thank you for dropping in for your dose of crazy happiness and a quick hit of positivity. Welcome to episode 27. I'm your host, Tanya Vetter of TanyaVetter.com. Today's episode is being brought to you by Women Empowerment Training Institute, empowering women and youth through engagement and exposure. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am calling today Talk It Out Tuesday. It is an episode that I am absolutely elated to share and one that I feel is the core component and necessity um, in every area of our lives, whether we want to accomplish something, um, be something, pursue something, whatever. Today's topic covers all grounds. And today's topic is the art of forgiving, the art of forgiving. And I want to use the quote, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. I'm going to say that again. The quote reads, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. And this is by Lewis Smethis. Now, I chose this because I noticed when I was at the the conference um, or the seminar, I should say, the Money Mindset and um, Prosperity and Spiritual Practices conference um, and seminar this past weekend, we were in an environment where, of course, when you say prosperity, people assume that you're only going to talk about finances and you're only going to talk about money. And what I enjoyed was the first thing that Fairlyn, her name is Fairlyn Mann, the first thing that Miss Fairlyn Mann shared with us was that you had to start with forgiveness. And so today I want to share two points with you. Number one, success of any kind is unfulfilling and short-lived without forgiveness. So no matter what we accomplish in life, um, and we, we, we see great things happening all over the world um, to interesting people, but here's the thing, without forgiveness, success is not only unfulfilling, but it's also short-lived. And I want to add that it'll never be enough. If you if you have forgiveness that you have not settled, then you won't feel fulfilled. The second thing I want to share is that you can't change the past, right? So change what you believe about the past. I'm going to say that again. You can't, we can't, I can't change the past. So change what we believe. Change what you believe. I've changed what I believe about the past. And this one is, let me tell you, it is, I, and then I didn't get this from anyone. I have to first say that. This was definitely a d- divine um, knowing that came to me. But I have been able to heal some really deep hurts with not the fact that, I mean, I can't change the past, right? But I've been able to heal some really deep wounds because I changed what I believed about the past. And so what happens um, when we do this? Well, the first thing you do is you create space for more of that, of the good stuff we want, right? And so you, you may be asking, okay, so do I just go around forgiving everybody? Well, here's the thing. Who do you need to forgive? Because attempting to forgive someone else before you forgive yourself will be short-lived as well. I'm going to say that again. 100% of the time, you need to forgive yourself first. And we usually make a list of everyone we feel like we need to forgive, right? All of the people who have hurt us. And, you know, we, we do really well with that list. But I, I want to challenge you. Forgive yourself first because our inability to forgive others is a direct indication that we have not forgiven ourselves. I'm going to say that again. Our inability to forgive others is a direct indication that we have not forgiven ourselves. And then I can hear someone say, well, how often do I have to do this? It has to be a practice. So I'm going to say daily. You know, there was a video that I saw with Elisa Nichols on it, and she shared something, a practice that I actually adopted, um, a daily practice. And in addition to the meditation that I do, in addition to the gratitude um, practice and the prayer practice I have daily, I added a practice that she suggested. So every morning I say three things to myself because we don't talk to ourselves enough, right? We we wait to be affirmed by everyone else. But there are three things I say to myself in the morning. I say, Tanya, I thank you for, and I thank myself for doing some things because 
you know, we, we need to encourage ourselves. So I thank myself for some things that I intentionally do that I know will be good for me. The second thing I say is, Tanya, I forgive you for. And every day this may change, you know, or every day it may be the same thing. But I forgive myself for something every single day because it enables me to extend forgiveness to other. And the last thing I do is I say, Tanya, I commit to you too. And I make a daily commitment to myself. Why? Because we make daily commitments to everyone else and we make ourselves last or not at all. But when I do these three things, I'm not resentful. I don't feel tired. And if I feel tired, it's because of what I've chosen and intentionally done, not because I've been led to do it and put everyone else before me, right? So this was a practice that I got from Lisa Nichols. Every day, I say, I thank myself for something. I forgive myself for something and I commit myself to something for myself, right? This enables me to easily clear room and make space to forgive others. So the art of forgiving is rarely um, spoken of in terms of us forgiving ourselves first. And I think it's important because what we say to ourselves is what we say to others. I'm gonna say that again, what we say to ourselves is what we say to others. And so here's the thing I um, realize in uh, the art of forgiving. Your question may be, well, do I need to tell them that I'm forgiving them? Because that's another thing we've been led to believe, that we have to make everyone that we need to forgive um, aware that we are um, waving the banner of forgiveness and decided to forgive them. And so for that question, my, my answer is absolutely not. And why do I say that person doesn't need to know that you are, uh, you've chosen to forgive them. I say that because I learned, of course, along this journey that um, God says we are all vibrational energy. We are all connected. We are one. And so when you choose to forgive someone, trust me, they will know. If it's someone that you are around all the time, trust me, they will know. If it's someone you're not around at all ever, because of what this world was created as, as one, meaning we are all one, we are all connected. The law of oneness says that we are one, so they will know. Forgiveness, in my opinion, is just another form of self-care. I found that um, it was more for me than it was for them. And so it's, it's for us, and it becomes a blessing to others as it overflows. Okay, I'm going to say that again. It's for you and it blesses others as an overflow. Guys, I've enjoyed today's episode greatly. Hey, if you still need to grab your dumping ground journal, head on over to tanyavetter.com and grab it today. Don't know what it is? Check out episode number six. You guys know what I say. Be like, be love, be you. Mm -hmm.